Hello everyone, I'm Bolanik and I'll be sharing with you today uh, a few poems that have um, come to me through some different sources, through uh, wisdom teachings, through life experiences and paradoxes in the world that I've, I've seen and observed and uh, put them into poems, into rhymes, into some playful expression uh, for you all to enjoy. This first poem I'd like to share with you is about the reflection of the world. I have been studying shamanism and one of the uh, one of the reflections, one of the one of the ways in which they see the world and particularly the environment around them they see there's constant messages being given to us and in this poem I wished to share uh, the idea of the relevance of animals and creatures that come into our experience maybe they can appear at fortuitous moments or um, or in moments of sadness or maybe a creature appears to you in a in a place you wouldn't expect to see it um, I like to look at these these moments as a as a message of sorts from the universe the animal or the creature or the experience has um, a meaning attached maybe the the animals characteristics maybe some of the ways in which they live their lives can be a reflection for us to see how we can learn from these great creatures and these Yeah, this perfection of nature and how how the animal lives its life, how it adapts and survives and thrives. Animal Totem What's the meaning of a spider that crawls up beside you in symbol and metaphor? When we search for the truth, life will give us the proof that life is a reflection for sure. So when the eagle flies low, we have the tools to know what the mirror is saying at its core. Keep those eyes to the skies and keep asking those questions why to watch your consciousness fly forevermore. The next poem I'd like to share with you is a, a special poem for me and my journey. Uh, it was inspired by uh, the connection I had with the mother of my children. We met at a, a non-dual tantric yoga school and the, the idea of the consciousness of oneness, um, the experience of uh, profound connection and the love that was felt during that period of time in my life was expressed uh, particularly to the mother of my children in this poem so this is a, a special one I hope you enjoy love will set us free on the date of 888 known as the lion's gate I found a peace inside of me love flowed out for eternity I knew then that we could never be apart and that love will set us free. The love that I am is the love that you are. So listen carefully, your heart is a star shining to galaxies near and far. Your love is all there is, so realise the truth. You are the one, the only one ever to exist. This next poem was inspired by the seven hermetic principles. 
which I've been studying over over different periods. I pick up the the text and consider its teachings. And at some point, I had the inspiration to see if I could turn these principles into poems. So there's seven in total, and I'd like to share with you the law of correspondence. The principle of correspondence might seem like nonsense until you look a little closer. As above, so below is how this law flows. This paradox is the unknown to the known. So everything is connected, there is no doubt. When you follow this truth, as within, so without. So study the planets and those tiny atoms to find the same patterns moving like Saturn. Wisdom full to the brim, the great Hermes was him, connecting the micro and macrocosm. So the next poem I'd like to share with you has been inspired by research into the law and particularly the Admiralty Law, which is the law of the sea. And the poem in essence describes the well, the lay of the land doesn't quite work because <laughs> it's the lay of the sea that's on the land. There's a system in place which basically traps us into a, a system that we have been signed up to through the birth certificate. So I felt to write a poem, or well, the poem appeared to it, appeared to uh, come to life as I, I put pen to paper um, with some beautiful rhymes to to bring emphasis to the uh, the situation. Uh, there's a potential solution at the end of the poem, which I will leave you to investigate further. Do ye know about the Sestuka V? It's a law that says ye dead or lost at sea. We lost control to pirates of our common law lands, to maritime admiralty. So when ye stand up in court and shout ye name out forth, it's not an advisable place to be. You've just docked your vessel in a dock in foreign territory. It's a trick. It's a trap. It's a total fraud. Ignore their letters. Don't walk through those doors. Get off their ships. Get out of their seas. Vacate their riverbanks and fake currencies. I spell ye some great advice. Stand up for ye rights by learning to read and write for the claim of the claim of life. This next poem I'm sharing with you is a sweet uh, little wisdom, um, a poem of wisdom. It's suggesting and it's inviting the reader to recognise the godliness within. Recognising the limited nature of words and labels to acknowledge this omnipresent, ineffableness of our being. It touches on the non-dual teachings. Path of least resistance. Why not just accept it? Your God, or whatever name you call it, it is simply a word, like your name, or an adjective, or a verb. Now is the time to see it. You're the creator of this whole existence. You're all peoples, you're all planets, you're even the distance. You ask, how can that be? I ask, who is that which sees? Now follow this path of least resistance. 
This last poem I'm sharing with you is another sweet number. Again, it's connecting the the words with our experience, the poetic nature of words, and the mirror-like nature of reality. The poet becomes the poem. There's something poetic about the ways of the world and the language to describe it. When I find it, it's very revealing and full of ironic surprises. Every word can be observed to find a deeper meaning. A perfect reflection, an embodied moment. The poet becomes the poem. Thank you very much for listening. I'm Bolanik. You can find poems of love and magic in riddle and rhyme on Amazon if you wish to dive deeper into this playful, loving expression of life.